Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a birthday party EA threw yesterday on this game. Guys, it feels like yesterday was one big present to us. All the content that we had, especially the SPCs, the evolutions, the promise of more evolutions to come as well that look just as crazy, if not better than the ones we had yesterday. And all the cards that are in packs right now, this is crazy. The number of foot birthday cards and icons that are in packs, as well as a re-release of past special cards in packs as well. And there's more to come because this is Team 1. There's a lot going on in this game, guys. The market is crashing because of it. And there's more content to come today that we have to be on the lookout for. So we have a lot to discuss in today's video. Let's get right into it. If you're excited for foot birthday after seeing yesterday's content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start where it was honestly the slowest in objectives yesterday. We had a brand new player objective for Falcao, right? Lovely player, of course. This card is kind of a hidden gem potentially, especially for somebody like me who loves a good Finesse Shot Plus. Four star, five star. It's pretty easy to get done. He doesn't look that crazy, but more of just a fun card to get done if you're a Colombian. Um, La Liga links now. Interesting. Falcao's been all over the place, but La Liga now, that is a decent card, and it is uh, 2,000 XP that you can get from this and some packs. It's not that difficult. Play 12. All right, win eight matches. So it is a little bit of a work of a grind, but you can do it in the squad battle. So it is pretty easy. So that one's fun just to do for Falcao. And the XP is definitely very nice as we're getting off the ground in this new season. That XP is huge, actually. Let's talk about the daily play objectives. We love these, right? I think these are the best packs we've had out of a daily play in 80 times five. And then, of course, the 81 doubles for the three games per day. But then as you go along through this, you do get some XP. By the end, you get an 86 double and the 85 times five. So double. W packs there in objectives. That was basically all that we had there. But the real hype was in the SBCs and the Evos. Let's start with the SBCs first and talk about the upgrade packs because we have a flash challenge. That is not something that you often see. A flash challenge SBC that gives out a tradable rare Electrum players pack that you can do every two hours, I believe, which is super dope. Um, guys, all it takes is just a couple of non-rares and rares, and you get yourself a pack that gives you almost that exact same thing back. A rare Electrum pack is not bad. It's tradable as well. It's worth doing if you have this stuff in the club to do that. We also have the 80 plus triple upgrade. Hey, who doesn't like uh, an 80 plus player pick, but you get to take home all the players. That is what this one is. I don't know. Some people are asking me, should I do the 80 plus player pick or should, the, should I do the 80 plus triple? I'm still doing the player pick mostly just because I feel like I get more walkouts out of that. Try a couple of both in your account. See what you like and stick with the one that works best for you. Now, yesterday we also had the re-release of the 83 plus Team of the League player pick, which is a normal thing on Fridays. Same exact requirements and everything. Let's talk about the player SBCs, right? Because we had multiples of them dropped yesterday. The first one is maybe one that you actually missed because it's kind of hiding inside of a player pick. It's a really interesting one. We knew that it was coming because it was leaked and also talked about by EA. Spring update promotion player moments. This is a SBC of a player pick, but it's weird because you can do it multiple times over the 20 days that it is out. Guys, I believe you can do this SBC three different times so that you can get all the three players that are inside of it. It's only an 83 and an 84 squad, so it is very cheap. And those players, once again, are Ahmed Zovich, which this card might be the best out of all of them. He has every single defensive play style, including anticipate, slide tackle, and intercept. He's got block plus, jockey plus, um, all he's missing is Ariel to be really a complete center back. He is three star, three star, um, and a solid card, right? Nothing too shabby there. You've got Carlton Morris um, from Luton Town, who has got four star, four star, finesse, and power header. And also, you've got Manuel from uh, Burnley with five star skill moves and high, high work rate. So, it's more so just a fun SBC to craft. If you have random 83s and 84s laying around at some point during the next week, you can get this done. And again, it's repeatable in six days, so you can get every single of the three players from that SBC uh, throughout the course of it being out, I believe. That's how it is set up to be. Now, let's get to the foot birthday SBCs, right? Because we had a massive foot birthday SBC player yesterday with Kingsley Coleman. What a card this is. It's a really good card, guys. I'm not going to say it's like 10 out of 10 good, but it is very, very good. Um, you have Pinged Pass Plus, which was just buffed in this newest gameplay patch. You have Rapid Plus as well. And, of course, the biggest draw to this card is the French Lynx, the Bayern Munich Lynx, his unique body type in game, and the 5-star, five 5-star five 
upgrade, right? He always struggles with the weak foot. He got that five-star weak foot, and the stats individually on the card, they look really good. Of course, I look at that composure stat right away, 83. It is a little bit low. Um, and I look at some of the play styles, and I'm like, for a guy that I specifically in my team would want to play like left wing or left forward in the squad, 4 3 2 1 that I like to play, he doesn't have any scoring play styles and only one passing play style. That throws me off a little bit. Not a lot, but just enough to where I'm probably not going to do the SBC. And I actually picked Joao Felix and the chance to upgrade this coming uh, tomorrow with the big game against Atletico over that card. But this SBC is one that is very hyped because it's big links, right? These um, Bayern Munich links right now with Davies, with De Ligt that is out, so many... Bayern players you could link to this card and very hype player himself, Kingsley Coman. It is an SBC that a lot of people like. 766k seems a bit steep and also it seems a bit steep because fodder right now is very, very low. But I think that is a craftable SBC if you want a 5-star, 5-star wing player that can play on the right or the left that is going to be very pacey and he's going to be able to create because of his 5-star skill moves and the 5-star weak foot. That SBC is 78% upvoted. Now, there's another player SBC today in the name of Socrates, a.k.a. The Doc Icon. Uh, this one is sick. Like, I saw this SBC right away and I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. I'm a little bit toned down from where I was right there when I saw the SBC. It's still a great card, but there's a couple things to this that I think uh, maybe are just not the best. And EA could have done a couple small things to make this way better. Five star, five star though is of course great. He's six foot four with five star, five star. Technical dribbling with six foot four height is going to be very interesting in game. I did the loan card for this. I want to try him out in champs this weekend or at least a couple of games somewhere to give him a shot. But he's five five, six foot four. He can only play center attacking mid. No alternate positions. It honestly feels like a mistake. But I think that it's not. The stats are incredible, though, guys. 90s and above in every single stat except for physical and defending. His dribbling is not like perfect, but it is because he's six foot four. That is really good dribbling for six four. 98 composure, 96 ball control. He's got 93 stamina. He's gonna never run out of stamina. And you look at his play styles as well. He's got that technical and incisive pass plus. He's got tiki taka. He has no scoring play styles as well. He does have Rapid, he does have Press Proven, and Aerial, and Trivella. But, I mean, without a couple of scoring play styles, and I was wishing, like, this card for me would probably be more of an attacking central midfielder, just the way that I run my team, right? I don't have any center attacking mids. If he had a couple more passing play styles and maybe a finesse, or maybe a power shot, I'd be a lot more interested in this one for the price that it is. But again, I feel like I'm being picky with these SBCs because these are SBCs that a lot of you guys really really love this socrates card is no joke insane and it is worth the craft right it is worth the craft if you want to just use a fun new insane card i think the price as well is it's a little steep but it's not bad and there are some high rated squads and i think there's a 90 rated squad inside of here there is there's a 90 rated squad you do get a prime gold players pack back some mega pack a mega pack as well for the 89 squad but it's craftable at the moment, just like everything else is with the player picks being out with the 80 plus times three, the 8310 is going away. Hopefully something replaces that today, but the exchanges are out. So that is one thing that this card has going forward is that the craftability of the menus right now is really, really good. So it's like, I don't know, I would rate both Socrates and Kingsley Coman yesterday for SBCs. I'd rate them both like seven or eight out of 10 because they, they're they very big name players. They're very hyped. They haven't had, I mean, Coman has had specials this year. Socrates really hasn't. Um, they're exciting. That's the, the, the honest truth about it is they're exciting. And of course they're five star, five star. And that is crazy. So WSBCs there, I'm looking for more. And there are leaks. EA told us which SBCs we are going to be getting over the next couple of days. We'll talk about that a little later on in the video. Let's go to evolutions because the SBC content was good. The evolutions content was just as good, maybe if not better. There is so much hype right now for these new evolutions that just dropped. The Jack of All Trades Evo. This is probably the lesser hyped of the two, but it also allows you to create somebody who could be five star five star you get a plus like look at this it looks even crazy as you look in the evo different levels weak foot plus five star we're used to seeing like plus one star in here plus five star you get the first 
Touch plus playstyle, which is not the most desirable, but it's there. You also get plus four on the skill moves. That's because I think everybody has at least one star, right? I don't know why the skill the skill moves is plus four and the weak foot's plus five. You're gonna go to five star, five star, regardless of anybody that you put into this. And I think that's why it's a hundred thousand coins because they can't make that free. That would be a little bit too crazy. But the biggest W about this Evo and the other Evo that was dropped today is that a lot of us who have had special cards evolved previously in our club now can put those players into these Evos. Like this Alessandrini, who I've been waiting on for ages to be able to upgrade again. I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest. He would go to 5-5. Five five. He already has the 5-star weak foot. I don't know if I love that playstyle plus of first touch for this card. It would still be very useful. He's got all the scoring playstyles right. You maybe have seen a couple versions of Alessandrini Evos floating around X, Twitter, or maybe Footbin as well, because there's many of his cards that look cracked. But there are so many great cards that you can put into this Jack of All Trades Evo. I just got to decide who I want to put in it. And it's basically one that I think would be very important if you need somebody with a skill move or a weak foot upgrade that's an attacker. I feel like this is especially made for attackers or especially more attacking players. I think this is a really good Evo for that, but it is going to cost you 100k. I like that they dropped it twice though. Big fan of that. Now the other Evo, which is making more prices move on the market than that first one, is Weak Foot Peak. And I think people like it because it's free and you get that 5-star Weak Foot upgrade. You also get Jockey Plus. This is a really great evolution for center backs and some center defensive mids but if you check your club if you have a Rafael Varane if you have a, a Saliba a Rudiger a Kunde, those are some of the most popular cards that you can put into that Evo uh, I believe Varane is the number one most popular card guys I've used Thunderstruck Varane this year for 200 and something games he is unbelievable i used vvd for a while this veron is like on that type of level the thunderstruck card and this new evo version is almost the exact same thing he's just like one stat lower in every single area i believe he may have one less play style as well but anticipate jockey and aerial and with overpowered veron animations for a free evolution and just a few games if you can pack yourself a gold Varan, but which by the way, this card is 100% extinct on the market right now. Again, be careful with these extinct Evo cards. We just talked about this with coin wipes and coin bands, right? Don't list for max price. List just underneath that if you happen to pack this card or if you have multiple of these cards somehow, don't list at max price. If you list one at max price, you're probably fine. But if it's multiple of them, do not list at that full max price. This is the number one most popular card that is coming out of the Evo. But then you also take a look at like um, some Saliba versions of old. Like if you did the rare defender upgrade of Saliba, you can put him into this. That's a pretty crazy looking card too. Uh, anticipate Jockey, Jockey Plus Intercept. That is a really nuts card as well. So this one's really good and I have no idea who I'm going to put into this. I like the idea of evolving a Evo card that I already have in the club, uh, but none of them that I really have look that crazy to me. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I will do with this one, but this is really, really awesome. And uh, GG's EA, it's creating fun cards that maybe we've already evo before, taking them to another level, or just creating cards that are meta based off of cards that are existing in the game. A lot of special cards are up on the market because these Evos like Soboslide. And again, there's another Evo that is coming that has been leaked that is maybe even bigger than those two Evos combined that dropped yesterday. And I want to look at that here pretty soon uh, in the video as well. But let's move on with yesterday's content and talk about the cards that are impacts, the ultimate birthday cards, their prices, how they're moving on the market, because they are all over the place, man. And uh, a lot of these cards yesterday started off as extinct, uh, and then EA updated their price ranges, and they really dropped a ton. Most of them dropped below what their price range was originally, like Benzema, both versions of Benzema, because once again, just like last year, we have two different versions. It's going to be so confusing, guys. Um, so many people are going to be mistakenly buying the wrong version. They're going to want to buy five-star skills Benzema, and they're just going to buy a Benzema like this, thinking it has five-star skills, and they're like, oh, it's got the weak foot, right? Just be careful with that. Some people are going to try to take advantage of that on the market as well. If there's price differences between the five skill Benzema and the five weak foot one, you'll see people selling or trying to sell the skill move one uh, or the weak foot one at the price of the skill move, considering that one's probably going to be more expensive. Um, but I digress. These cards are very similar. And a lot of people just say, they're like, Nate, why couldn't they just drop one Benzema card instead of two and make one five-star skills and five-star weak for both instead of having two cards with one or the other? 
I don't know. That's how EA have done it in the past couple of years of Foot Birthday. Um, it does kind of, it creates the illusion that more cards are in packs as well. I mean, we said that in the intro, right? There's so many cards in packs, but also when you think about it, half, not half the players, but some of the players are in here twice. Some of the icons and some of the regular promo cards. So it just looks like there's this huge player pool of players in packs when there really is not quite that many. There's just two versions of that same player, especially when they're higher tier they're probably still pretty hard to pack. So this promo team though, I know there's some names that have been used before. Sun, they've got some, he's got some promo cards already this year. Um, Araujo has one, De Bruyne has a couple, Barella has one, Saka has a couple, but the guys, these cards are cracked. A lot of five-star five-stars in here, like Alex Morgan. The Messi card, of course, is insane. Araujo looks like a really nuts card as well. And there are a lot of expensive ones, but I will tell you this, the pack weight is, is kind of as we expected it, guys. The lower tier is like annoyingly packable. Man, I've packed seven foot birthdays so far. I kid you not, guys. Seven foot birthdays I have packed from the saved up packs that I had yesterday. I don't feel like I had too crazy of pack luck. Um, but the lower tier, like I'm already tired of packing Milinkovic Savage. I've packed him three times. I've packed Felipe Anderson once. And I've packed Stack two times as well. Um, and then Lavelle. Lavelle is everywhere too. So you do get that feeling of, Hey, I can pack promo cards, but then again, it's also like kind of just all the fodder ones. But I don't hate that because if you can look at these cards' prices, you can see Benzema. And yes, these cards are expensive, but it feels like also it gives you something to chase and like gives you a reason to open packs at the same time. And they're not like seven, eight, nine million coins like out of reach that far. Like it's only messy and then sun, right? And the rest of the cards are around two mil or below. So especially for the regular foot birthday cards. It's still going to be tough to pack them, but it kind of gives us something to chase for. And when you hit something big, you're going to be excited because all those cards are insane. Now, speaking of the prices, they're definitely helped out. Even though they were extinct right away, EA has been running mad lightning rounds, 85 sevens. There was an 88 plus lightning round pack, which was an 81 times 100 with an 88 plus guaranteed player inside of it. But like the pack, wait, look at this pack. 39% of an ultimate foot birthday player or ultimate birthday player from an 85 times seven tradable. There's so many tradable packs that are in the store. And there's also so many untradable packs. Like, yes, the cards were extinct yesterday and we were complaining, as I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed, so many of the cards were extinct. But the price ranges got updated pretty fast within the first two hours. They started to get more supplied after that and they got sold off and their prices are down bad and they're way more affordable than they were. But EA did drop that crazy full 11 prison pack yesterday, um, which is nuts to look at these odds. Guys, we saw some people open these. And, not worth it, man. If you're going to open a big store pack and put in some big coins or actual money for this, like go for one that's going to give you cards from the current promo. I like going for tradable packs too, but you know, you just got to take your, take your choices. We're going to take your choices. I mean, wow, this, this promo really is pulling you hardcore to try to spend money. So stay strong. Uh, if you're not like me and like a lot of you guys are not, um, but if you are just be careful, cause there are some crazy, crazy packs out there that are trying to get you to spend some money. I'm going to reset my game. Cause I think it just crashed with that little spinny thing at the bottom. Let's talk about the icons while we do that. Two versions of Thierry Henry, again, one with a weak foot, one with the skill moves. I like the dynamic image difference here. That's a small touch that's really cool. The younger Thierry Henry with the skill moves, the little bit older Thierry Henry with the beard and stuff like that. That's a dynamic image we've seen before in older FIFAs for his Icon Moments cards. That one's got the weak foot. You've got Hullet, who is extinct, and that insanely juiced card with Finesse Plus and Power Shot. What a card. Blanc is surprisingly expensive. 1.9 mil. For 83 place pace to Blanc, but he does have Anticipate and Aerial. Um, again, two versions for him too. One with the uh, weak foot and one with the skills. Uh, really random that you have a, a center back with five-star skills, but hey, it is what it is. Um, Carlos Alberto, two versions for him. Van Nistelrooy is a very interesting, cheaper option. If you got a couple hundred K and just want to try out a quote-unquote fun card, this is your guy. He's probably going to drop off some more because I don't think this card's really worth 400,000 coins. He's probably going to be like 250K in the next couple of days. So I would be careful wanting to buy this and hold on to it. But this card looks really, really fun. 94 pace, 92 shooting with the five-star weak foot. He's got that first touch plus, and he's got uh, really good heading too. 95 heading accuracy, really good finishing. 97 finishing and finesse shot. He's got Power Shot Plus as well, which has been a little bit nerfed, but it just looks like maybe a fun card to try out, like a usable Vanisseroy. So who's going to complain about that for sure? 
I don't think anybody is. So that was the team in packs. I think is is really really cool, and it's a really big W because they're they're cards that are just like they're WoW type cards, right? And if you pack one, you're like, okay, this is something that's probably good enough that it could potentially go into my team. And there's so many there, it feels like it's worth grinding the picks and the packs to try to open to get these cards as well. Now, the one thing we did not expect yesterday was a re-release of special cards. Some of the cards, like Mbappe, was in packs last week for Showdown Series. He's back again. You've got Wesley Snyder, you've got Lauren James, Mukoko, Paulo Futre, and Kunku Garnacho, the Tevez UCL hero card. It's a small set of players, but it's a Team 1 of the 5-star best of Team 1 that has been re-released in packs. Um, I think these are all, or most of them, yeah, I think they're all 5-star skillers. Maybe next week will be 5-star weak foot. I'm not entirely sure, or they'll do another set of five-star skillers. Uh, but if you packed any random specials yesterday, that is why. Or if you looked at the market and noticed why some prices on some of these cards were down horrendous, like this Wesley Snyder card is 450k after he was 1.1 mil. Like, okay, that's crazy, man. 1.1 mil to 450k. It's things like that that if you have tradable cards, um, you know, out of nowhere, stuff like that can happen, and it's just crazy. So... Um, that's the re-release. They'll be in packs until Friday as well, until Team 2 comes out, and then we'll have a new set of those cards coming into packs. Now, just a couple of small things to round up with yesterday's content. Diogo Jota, with his new card, 5-star, five 5-star, five was actually on the EA Sports live stream, and he was playing um, Ultimate Team uh, with a couple... Of, I didn't watch the stream very much, but I saw this video. That is pretty sick. I love that EA has got that integration in there. I think that's pretty cool. And he's got a promo card in the team as well. And then also on their website, I noticed this little sentence. Plus, look out for other goodies as the party goes on with social content and giveaways happening across the community throughout the Ultimate Birthday Party. So I guess keep an eye out for the EAFC official Twitter um, and maybe Instagram as well. And maybe there's some going to be some stuff going on there. That's not something that you normally see, but maybe something to have a little bit of incentive to try to pay attention to if there's going to be some giveaways happening, right? Who, loves, who doesn't love a giveaway? So all of this content, guys, um, has absolutely impacted the market. Now you can see I have like no coins right now. I picked up a couple of Diogo Jotas, right around a million coins, and it was right before EA dropped some more lightning rounds. So I'm hoping that these cards can sell and I'll make some profit. But I think EA dropping these lightning rounds might have hurt the prices a little bit. But speaking of those store packs and lightning rounds and these cards and the content, the market is in the absolute bin. This is the index icons graph, but like everything on the game did this yesterday. Like I feel like the only cards that are up in price are cards that are being used for Evos or maybe some random team of the weeks that people are putting into SPCs and they got rare and they, and they spiked up. Like the market is down horrendous guys. And I think it's going to keep going because of how good this content looks like it could continue to be with more stuff coming out. But cards that are down like these fantasy cards, look at Luis Diaz. He's 1.5 mil. This card was 2.2 just a few days ago. Um, you know, that's just a really expensive card that's down a lot. You look across some of the team of the year cards, like Sophia Smith is 2 million coins. She was 2.2, 2.3 earlier in the week. I'm so glad that we talked about selling cards from our teams in the past, honestly, like the past week. I'm pretty sure it was a week ago. I was saying, guys, this is probably going to be a time where the, the market starts to drop off. And man, literally since last week, 2.6 mil for Sophia Smith. She's down 600,000 coins. And it just seems like with the quality of the cards that we have in this promo, the ones that could continue to be released and the prices of those cards too. Like if you've been using 2 mil Team of the Year Sophia Smith for the last two months since Team of the Year, you look at some of the cards that just came out and you're like, yo, why won't I go try, you know, one of these couple million coin Alex Morgan Benzema, who's like five, five or four, five, Alex Morgan's five, five. Maybe you want to try Saka with the five star skills or the, the new KDB, you know, the new Rodrigo with five star skills, something like that. There's so many sick cards that have been released in this promo that makes people want to go and sell what they had to go and try the new thing. And I just think that that panic selling is probably not over yet. Um, again, th these are some of the same cards I've been watching for the last two or three days. This Zaire Emery was down from 1.2, 1.3, down to 1.05, down really, really low. Even cards like, oh my gosh, guys, Road to the Finals. Did you see some of these yesterday? Tony Cruz was 3.2 million coins. The UCL draw happened yesterday. They matched City. That started the panic on Road to the Finals uh, because some of them had really hard matchups like City versus Real Madrid. That's going to be a crazy matchup. 
But the combination of that, the upgrades that the cards got, and the fact that the next upgrades won't be for a month, that's when the second leg of the quarterfinals is going to be like decided and those upgrades will be given out. So it's a long time for those upgrades. That's why, especially as you talk about Road to the Finals, and as we talked about last week with fantasy cards and continuing to this week, sell in the hype. But those cards, like Lukaku went from 1.6 mil, he was down at just under 1.1, and now he's back up to about 1.3. Sell in the hype, guys. Um, Gabriela Jesus is another one. He went from like 1.8 million coins. He was down as low as 1.3. Right now he's about 1.5, but they could be good to trade with, but also they're dropping a ton on the market. And I, guys, with the content, the way that it looks, and especially with what else is coming, I don't think that it's going to go up a ton. I think it's going to continue to go down more before it goes up more for a lot of the meta cards on the market. Now, prices that are dropping also on the market, SBC fodder, man. Holy smokes, okay? With these lightning rounds that are out, yes, we've had decent SBCs yesterday and 89 and 90 rated squads for that high rated fodder potentially go up, but the supply is outweighing the demand. 89s are 25K a piece. 88s are 15K a piece. 80, 90s are 36. I mean, Lavelle is kind of an own island of her own being 2K cheaper than any other 90 rated card because she's getting packed so often. Like I packed two yesterday. I'm sure some of you guys have packed Lavelle as well. Two different versions of her card. Um, 38K for the 90s. Like this is the part of the fodder market that I would keep an eye on. But man, we're going to need more SBCs to make that fodder go up. I do think that it is crazy low. But if we don't get SBCs that make that go up, like somehow, I don't know what sort of icon pick is going to require 89s or 90s. I don't know what other icon SBCs they're going to drop. We do know some player SBCs, but they're going to have to drop a decent amount more to make those prices actually go up a considerable amount. So that is the fodder market. Be careful there. It is very low and maybe low enough for a club stock. But if I'm sure EA are going to keep running the lightning rounds today, guys. We saw it last week. Once they started, they didn't just stop. So they're going to keep going with those lightning rounds, and there's going to continue to be supply. But let's talk about maybe some of that content via SBCs that could move the market a little bit because EA did give us a total look into what is going to be coming in the next week on this game. They said the party's just getting started. Check out more Ultimate Birthday Celebration to come this next week. Today on Saturday, March 16th, we're looking at Maya Yoshida as an SBC. Now, when I look at some of these SBC player names, I'm like, hmm, last year we had Pedri, we had Nkunku, and we had Kante. And this year we have Yoshida, Quadrado, Openda, Harit, and Alex Grimaldo. I don't know. It's not. I'm not saying it's bad, right? Makaleli in there as well. I think Makaleli has the highest potential to be crazy. Quadrado as well. Don't sleep on that card. We just had a Bastoni, right? That a lot of people were doing. That could be a good SBC. Harid could be good. Grimaldo, right? I'm not saying to sleep on these. I'm just saying the names maybe aren't as crazy, but the cards still could be crazy. We'll have to see. The one today I'm so curious about, a lot of us have done Sawa, right? I had to look up who Yoshida was. He is in the MLS, but he is Japanese. Um, he is six foot two. He has a four-star weak foot. He has Ariel as his on his card already. Um, yeah, it's gonna take a big boost for this card to get upgraded and to be pretty good. I don't expect that SBC today to be very expensive, but it might be just a fun card to try. Maybe if you did that um, evolution for Ito earlier on, this Yoshida could link to him as well as the links to Sawa. So I think it could just be a fun card to try out, especially with things being craftable right now. But again, this Makaleli SBC, I think that has potential right there. That is an icon SBC, kind of like the Socrates that came out today. That could be very, very good. He's at a Centurion's icon card. We'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Maybe we get a leak about um, stats or something like that. But that's an SBC that I'm looking forward to because it could be good. And then also... Saturdays have been upgrade pack days, right? The 83 times 10 is going away today. It's going, gone, right? Expiring. Will we get a refresh of this? Will they bring the 84.5? Will they bring the 82.20? I'm not sure, but we need something, right? Because this pack is crucial to help us get fodder for doing a lot of these SBCs. And with the upgrades and player picks that we have, it's great to have some sort of upgrade pack like that. Fingers crossed for something today. Now, some of you might be like, Nate, should I buy Team of the Weeks? I don't know if I'd risk it, right? The 83 times 10 is literally like the pinnacle of Team of the Week demand. And there's other SBCs out right now that are still requiring a lot of Team of the Weeks, like the Encore Icon Upgrade. Hard to say those two things back to back. Um, but, yeah, I think they're higher than they will be 
if we don't get the 83 times 10. The 84.5, yeah, it could keep those informs inflated, but those cards are staying at 39,000 coins a piece with all the lightning rounds that we have, and that's pretty crazy. So, yeah, I'm not going to invest in Team of the Weeks, especially because the Team of the Player pick is so cheap and so easy to do. And there's also the element of surprise for today, right? They surprised us yesterday with like that Flash SBC, um, the Player Pick SBC, an Icon, and a Kingsley Coman. What else is going to be dropping today? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, guys, but I'm here for it because this content is very engaging and I'm fully engaged EA Sports, especially with Evos, man. We said yesterday that this might be a promo that brings back Evolutions and it looks like it is, guys, 100%. That could hurt the market some more, but it's also going to create some really, really sick cards for us to create. This is the Evo leak that is rolling around right now that is the most hyped uh, guys i can't believe this is going to be free and also i don't know what day it's going to be dropping i think foot police said this could drop any day from yesterday which it didn't to today to tuesday somewhere in there he said it's going to come out it is a five star skill technical plus playstyle plus we talked about this already it's been posted but here are the official requirements guys gold hyunmin sun gold cristiano ronaldo this is the first evo of the year that cristiano ronaldo gold i believe will fit into he's gone up in price many times and he's not even going to look that sick in this evo to be completely honest um but the fact that he can fit into it and you can get a technical plus and also power shot plus ronaldo like people are going to want to do that so yeah if this evolution is coming out he does fit it i mean again max pace is 91 he fits that max shooting 89 fits that max dribbling 88 yep physicality 75 he's got 74 max play style plus is one max play styles six which he has um, five regular play styles and one play style plus. So he fits that easily. So technically, he fits the Evo. He was all the way up at like, wow, he's down a ton. Goodness gracious. With no Evo yesterday. Um, and of course, with the lightning rounds, this card's 8,500. I, I kid you not, guys. He was selling for like 13K yesterday or at least 12K. Um, and now he's 8,000 coins. If this Evo comes today, he's going to go up. Hyunmin Sun is going to go up. Um, this Torres and this Rodrigo are invested in a ton. I would tell you this. Selling the hype. If it doesn't drop today, Ronaldo's going to drop back down like you're seeing right now. Like that is that is risky, but that is tempting because that's really cheap for Ronaldo compared to where he was earlier in the day yesterday. But just be careful with that stuff and sell it in the hype because, again, if the Evo doesn't come, it is going to drop down big time. But, again, technical plus and five-star skill moves. There's going to be so many of us that have cards in our club, whether they're special cards or Evos, that we are going to want to put into that evolution and upgrade them further because that's a that's an insane upgrade and a very, very, very meta card at that. How much is Rodrigo right now? 1.6 lows. Dang, man. Those lighting rounds that EA put out, they were supplying these cards again. He was almost 1.7. I picked one up at 1.52, and he was literally almost 1.7. So I might have to hold these out into the morning. Um, let's talk. Let's talk foot birthday cards for a second here as these lighting rounds are supplying them a little bit more. Um, these cards are very in demand. Very in demand guys look at how many other card prices are crashing because people want to use these i think these cards will rise up a bit into the day today on saturday but then after that towards content like a couple hours before they're probably going to start falling and they'll probably fall after content as well because they're going to get supplied more by the lightning rounds and if the content is good you're going to see them drop so just be very careful with these fluctuation trade at your own risk kevin de bruyne just went up a million coins does he actually sell there i doubt it right araujo has been going from 1.5 to 1.7 to maybe even 1.9 he's been fluctuating like crazy this benzema is getting really low i think alex morgan was 1.3 she's now at 1.6 like the prices move a lot and these cards are in very high demand because people want to go and try them out they look sick right but I think they will drop later on today. So just be very, very careful with that. And also be very careful with the Fantasy FC cards. These are our upgrades from yesterday. I actually am losing coins on Majri right now uh, because she did not play in the game. But they did get the second win and they scored a good amount of goals. So um, she can still very easily go to a 92 rated card, right? Can she go to 92? No. Yeah, she's going to go to a 90 after that second upgrade. Um, hopefully she goes to a 92 with the potential of a appearance in the next two games that she has left and of course the four more goals in the next two games as well which is possible so i don't know how long i'm going to hold on to those but orban got all four upgrades he went four for four guys he's going to go to a 91 rated card and that means um that orban's price is up if you have this card i would sell it into the hype because he was 48k 
I believe. I don't know how high he got, but he was 48K. What's Orban right now? Yeah, still around 47,000 coins. This is, yes, going to be a really insane looking card when he goes to 91 rated. Like, we're talking 94 defense, 92 physical. That's a disgusting card. But also at the same time, he was very, very supplied, right? We saw this with so many other Fantasy FC cards. You probably want to take the cash beforehand, even though he's going to look absolutely insane. And then maybe the buy the card after that if you want to. Um or whatever the case, but I would sell into the hype for those cards and all the other FC Fantasy cards, especially if they're playing like their last game this weekend, as plenty of them are. Their third or fourth matchup, sell into the hype. So guys, that's the video. We're looking very closely and watching very closely for the content today. What is it going to do to the market especially, and how is it gonna impact all of these crazy, crazy cards that we have right now for foot birthday, man, wow. What a promo, EA. Deliver on day two, and this thing might be real, all right? This thing could be maybe Thunderstruck level, maybe Black Friday level, if they can keep it up and if they keep giving us good stuff. So the hype is real, guys. The birthday party is uh, it's a dub so far. It is. So if you're excited for this, just like I am, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. Oh, yeah, subscribe too. I should say that. Great YouTuber, right? Subscribe to the channel if, you're, if you are not. And I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate with Account. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.